Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Today we head to Kansas City, Kansas, and that's where we find the offices of the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. Joining us today is Alan Grossbach, now in his sixth year. He's the Association's Director of Athletics, Coaching, and Media. Alan, good morning. How are you? I'm doing very well, Scott. How are you doing? Good. You, sir, are in the Nike hot seat today. How about that? <laughs> Well, I appreciate you having me on. The announcement came out just recently that uh, the NEI would be moving the wrestling championships indeed uh, after having several successful years in, in uh, uh, Topeka, Kansas. What can you tell us? Well, you know, like like you said, that press release came out. We're going to head to Des Moines. Um, we just signed a two-year contract there with uh, uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau and really excited to take that event. Uh, back to the state of Iowa and, and the long storied wrestling history that you all have there um, there in the state. There's a, a, obviously a strong uh, connection and a strong tradition of wrestling in the state of Iowa. Des Moines has been doing a terrific job with the championships it does host, whether it's for NEI or uh, Division uh, 1, 2, or 3 of the NCAA. Uh, what are some of the strong things that Des Moines does that makes this a, uh, an outstanding place to have a championship? Well, for us, some of the stuff that we looked at is actually outside of the venue itself, but to start there, Des Moines has um, terrific facilities, especially for uh, large-scale events like um, the NEI Wrestling Championship or like you would mentioned, some of the other associations' championships. You've got Wells Fargo Arena that's there in downtown Des Moines. And then, of course, there's the Jacobson Exhibition Center that we'll be using for the um, NAI event, which is on the state fairgrounds, which that area in its own right is, is pretty famous. Um, and, you know, and the, the city itself is extremely welcoming. Um, they know sports. They know their teams. And there's a lot of passion. And, and then, you know, kind of the other aspect for us is it's fairly centrally located for our membership. So, um, ease of travel is is a, a thing that we take into consideration as well. And we have a great number of schools that can either bus there, and then I feel like the Des Moines airport seems to be ever-growing uh, with flight options. So I think that's a good option for us as well. So ease of access, uh, venue opportunities. You've chosen to go back to the Jacobson Exhibition Center where it's been held before. Uh, parking doesn't seem to be a problem there, does it? No, no. And you, when you think about the number of people that that venue rolled, that the entire venue, the state fairgrounds there rolls through in the month of August, I believe it is. Uh, there's no issue for parking for our for our wrestling championship. When you think about the magnitude of that it compares to when it comes to the state fair, so um, no issues from that standpoint. We're talking with Alan Grossbach, Associate Director of Athletics, Coaching, and Media for the National Association of Inter Intercollegiate Athletics. They've announced that the Jacobson Exhibition Center on the grounds of the Iowa State Fair, March 2nd through the 3rd of 2018, would be the first year of its two-year commitment, and uh, March 1 through 2, I believe, for 2019. But the uh, NEI Championships of Wrestling are coming to Des Moines, Iowa now. Here's one of the great things to know also is that Grandview University has won the last, is it six years, Coach? Uh, i, I got to ask you, is it six years they've they won this thing? It is six years straight, yes, and it's been a pretty impressive run while they've done it. So that doesn't, it, I've got to believe that that helps a little bit because that, that school is not only uh, 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 well-funded, well-coached, but also a lot of folks come to see that. How important is the audience component to the success of an event like this? Oh, any of our championships, having folks in the stands, I think, is what what builds the experience for our student athletes. And, uh, you know, to the credit of the people at Grandview, they traveled very well to Topeka and represented their institution at a high level. Um, and I think they'll continue to do that and um, probably even increase that, that effort since we are going to be um, really just a few blocks away from campus or a few miles from campus when you look at uh, the location. So, um Coach Mitchell and the staff at Grandview have a tremendous program um, going, and I don't, I don't know how it's, I don't see in the in the near future how that will slow down, and I think that'll just do nothing but help our event moving forward to the next couple of years. Since uh, the NEI started sponsoring wrestling in 1957, that academic year, 57-58. Uh, the championships have taken place at least, if, if my, my addition uh, skills are correct, 
Uh, it's been held nine times in the state of Iowa. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, nine times in the state of Iowa. We were previously in Des Moines in 12 and 13 in the Jacobson. And uh, there was a year in Cedar Rapids and then spent some time in Sioux City as well. Okay, so 73, 75 in Sioux City, by the way. And right. for those of you uh, Sioux City folks, uh, you'll be happy to know your traffic camera has been taken off of Highway 61. Uh, <laughs> that's big news, big news indeed. No more surprise mailings from uh, the city of Sioux City. Um, I, I do want to talk about how many other programs the NAI uh, has in its uh, its purview. Is it is it 24 or 25 sports? 25 sports, 25, 25 championship sports. Okay, and how many universities or institutions are served by the NAI? Um, we're right around uh, 250. I believe 248 was what we had entering this year. 248, and of those, 57 institutions of yours sponsor the sport of wrestling. What is the conversation? What is the talk? Will we see wrestling continue to grow within the NAI? You know, I... I I surely think so. It's. Uh, I just saw another notification yesterday that Oklahoma Wesleyan and Bartlesville, Oklahoma, is adding the sport of men's wrestling um, this year. I, I uh, Mike Moyer from the NWCA, who I'm sure you know very well, Scott, very well. Uh, continually tells me every time I talk to him that he is just excited about the growth in NAI wrestling. If you think um, it wasn't that many years ago that we were down to about 20 to 20, 20 to 30 NEI wrestling programs, and now we're pushing 60. Uh, the growth has been tremendous. And part of that is, a, a key, I should say, a key component of that has been the support that the NWCA provides to its uh, wrestling programs, and especially the startups. The grant, the grant program, the leadership programs that they have has really been a key, I think, to developing and growing the sport in the NEI. And then, you know, we also have uh, significant growth on the women's side in the NEI, where teams are, are using that as a way to um, expand their sport offerings on campus. So I, I foresee the women's uh, wrestling to kind of work its way down the track of emerging and invitational and, and could have potentially eventually become a championship sport in the NEI as well. So that's one that's specifically on our radar um, when you're looking at the sport as a whole. The NEI has been around since 1937. And I was, uh, I guess it has changed a little bit, but basically the goal, the, the one uh, thing that stands out to me is that you are administrating programs uh, and championships in proper balance with the overall educational experience. How important is that and does that remain to be your true core today? Yeah, that's that is that is the core and the heart of the the NAI, and and you, whether that's through um, character development, intentional character development through our Champions of Character program, or just the way we require our our um, member institutions to to carry themselves, so to speak, that the the growth of these students into young men and women and men and women of character within society once they're done is is a key focal point of the NEI and will continue to be, I think, throughout the NEI's existence. All right. This is uh, the uh, high hard ones. Are you ready? All right. I'm ready. All right. What are the five core values the NEI seeks to, uh, to create through competition? Five core values. Can you do it? The five core values integrity respect responsibility sportsmanship and servant leadership were you reading just then <laughs> i i have a cheat sheet <laughs> but i could have recited them for you as well as you can imagine they are planted all over our office as continual reminders um as that is what we need to strive for as staff in addition to what um we ask our institutions to do let's go back to grandview university this scored more points this year, I believe, than has ever been scored before in Topeka and winning their last championship. Uh, it was a, a gigantic number. I, th I think 257, does that sound right? Um, I believe it was in the 230s. I think it was 234, if I'm Two, remembering. 234. How okay, but it took the next four or five teams' totals to even reach what Grandview had scored. That was an, an amazing competition but more than anything it said something about a team that was exceedingly well prepared prepared and was uh, packed full of uh, fine young athletes that also strive to uh, good academics good academic performance 
I'm just uh, I'm thrilled with what's going on with the NEI these days, and I'm looking forward to it being back in, in uh, the backyard of Takedown Media as well, Alan. Well, like I said before, we're really excited. We're excited to head back to the state of Iowa. I'm personally excited um, for the passion uh, in the growth of wrestling at the NAI level between our coaches and our administrators. And I think nothing but good years to come when it comes to wrestling and, and the association of the NAI. 65 student, 65,000 student athletes, 25 national championships, more than 250 colleges, universities, and 21 separate conferences, 500 million in athletic scholarships. What, can, what more can be said about the NEI? This is a governing body that absolutely gets it, the positive experience with students, student athletes, coaches, administrators. That is the core of everybody having a good time, having fun, the NEI. Alan, it's been a pleasure having you on the program today in the Nike hot seat. Great, Scott. I appreciate it, and hopefully I'll get to see you face-to-face -face when we're in Des Moines next, next uh, spring, early spring. I sure hope so. NAIA.org. Look for sports there, folks. It is a very core of what these folks do. The NEI, the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. I'm Scott Casper, our very special guest today, Associate Director of Athletics, Coaching, and Media, Alan Grossbach. Thank you, Alan. Great. Thanks, Scott.